give your students that chance to be young and stupid because you only get a short amount of time where your body is able to handle being young and stupid before you can't get back up as easily. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of context to my, my pearl. I, in high school, I grew up as a cross country skier. So for those of you who don't know, cross country skiing is when you go up the hill, you don't go down the hill. Um, so I grew up skiing with a, with a club team that was one of the best teams in the country. So we spent a lot of time traveling and um, I spent a lot of time with my, my friends. And while most of the other high school kids were off doing what high school kids normally do. We were off doing other things, which were arguably slightly more stupid, climbing up mountains, jumping off of trees, jumping into rivers, essentially doing anything that we could um, because we were bored. Uh, I remember one time my, my mother went to my coach and said uh, something along the lines, of, why is my son doing so many stupid things? And she, he looked at him, at her and said, eh, just remember he's, he's in really good shape and he's really bored and let him do it. Let him do these stupid things. And one day while we were traveling, I saw a shirt. It was, we were in Sweden and it said, in order to be young or old and wise, you must first be young and stupid. And I kind of bought this shirt and took it with me because it was my excuse to be able to do stupid things. Like, look, I'm still young. I have to do stupid things. Now fast forward and I'm a teacher of young kids who oftentimes do stupid things. And I remember this because it reminds me in these moments when my students are doing stupid things to let them do the stupid things, to let them fail because through that failure, they're going to get better. Just like I was able to do through all of my different adventures and all my different failures, I was able to learn from those mistakes. So, and I was never doing these stupid things out of malice or being mean. I was just being a kid. And so I try to remember that with my own students as they are doing things that I can see and I go, oh man, you are not going to succeed at this. But rather than intervene, letting them fall, letting them have that opportunity of failure and then helping them get up and helping them continue on and figuring out how to, how to do it right. And sometimes it's very hard because we want to jump in and we want to help our kids. But I always remember in order to be old and wise, you must first be young and stupid. Um, and so I guess my pearl is give your students that chance to be young and stupid because you only get a short amount of time where your body is able to handle being young and stupid before you can't get back up as easily. So that's my, my short and brief pearl. I think it's very important, especially with everything we've learned now uh, about assessment, second chances, all that.